everyone, it's Dr. D, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Edpuzzle. Edpuzzle is a wonderful tool for distance learning, as well as if you're in a classroom and you want your students to have video content that will help you assess. So as you probably know, there's videos are really popular to use, especially in like a history class, if you want them to see, you know, something, uh, an event from the past, or um, if science class, if you don't want them to dissect a cow eyeball and watch a video about it or learn about amphibians and so on and so forth. But you could also use it in math. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to do that today as well. So once you've, once you've uh, logged into edpuzzle.com, if you have a Gmail account, it will sync in with you. Just click on the sign in with Google and you'll automatically be into the Edpuzzle platform. Super do. This video, um, I'm going to show you, I had my kids make a video because as you all know, the highest level of mastery is if kids can actually teach something to someone else. So I said, well, you guys, you're going to make a video about 3D shapes because I realized everyone forgot that a sphere is a 3D shape. So we're going to do this together. So here's my content so far. There's lots of popular channels, so you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You can search for a video on YouTube or National Geographic or even a TED Talk. I am going to show a video that I created. I actually mashed together four video clips onto an iMovie, and then I uploaded it to YouTube so I can make a puzzle where I can assess my students' understanding of 3D shapes. So you just click in and search. You can either search here or if you have the URL for video, just type it in and it will populate. So I'm going to select this video. And then what you're going to do is you can cut the video into certain segments you want to see. You can add a voiceover if you want to narrate the video for your students or add in some narration while they're watching to help cue their interest. Or if you want to just do a straight up question to check for their understanding, you can click on the question tab. Different choices, multiple choice, open-ended, or a note. I'm gonna start this video with a note for my students to watch just to give them a little bit of a context about what we're gonna be doing. So I typed it into a Google Doc, and then all I need to do is paste it right here. Okay, now this video is four minutes, goes through a series of different shapes, and I'm just gonna play the clip, and anytime I see a question I wanna pop up, I'm gonna stop it and add question. Takes a few seconds to load. Hi guys, super pumped for today's video. So I'm just gonna forward it to just where he stops describing this sphere that he now knows. What my shape is called? What my shape is called? Boom! This is where I'm gonna add in my multiple choice question. Just copy that from my notes. What is the name of this three-dimensional figure? Populate it here, and now I'm gonna put in my choices. It is a sphere. Now, the nice thing about that is you can give feedback if they select each of the answers. So I'll just type my feedback in. You are correct, it is a sphere, and why? and it will automatically save. There's no save button, which is always fun. Someone might also think it's a circle, but that's not the correct answer. And then I'll tell them why. And there we go. You can add another answer choice if you like. And again, tell them why. Okay, and then they can go through the entire video series. There's about four shapes that I, we talked about, and they can watch that and answer their questions. But that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of how you would add a question and add some feedback. And then when you're done, you just click on finish. You can always go through the rest of the movie and add in additional question points just like I showed you by adding in a question. Click finish when you're done, and you're ready to share with your students your Edpuzzle that you've created.